Hi, I'm Jeremy from 2010, and today we're going to make a, a vodka gimlet martini, so otherwise known as a gimlet. I've got these beautiful cocktail glasses here, can be made in any kind of co cocktail glass, martini glass, sorry. Um, so we're going to ice down the glass to start with. Part of a serving a martini is to have the liquor super, super cold. Now it's a gimlet, so we're going to use some lime cordial on top. A little bit of lime cordial just to help that ice sort of melt around the glass. Coat that glass a bit. Okay, we've got the ice in the glass with the lime there, and it's nicely chilling the glass. We're going to make some more ice. Put it into our glass. Now you can use any kind of glass, shaker and glass. There's a couple of different glasses there we can use. And there's our Boston shaker. Today we're using a Boston glass and we're going to use absolute vodka. We'll add some vodka into the mix. Just only about, about 45 to 60 ml. Look, it all depends on how much vodka you want to drink today. That's about how much over the bottle. So now what we're going to do with that vodka is we're going to chuck it on the ice. Give it a bit of a twirl to it like super, super chilly. The vodka can actually be kept in the freezer and it won't ever freeze. So we'll crush it in the ice and swirl it around there so it gets nice and super chill. We're going to make a lemon twist. Um, traditionally a gin martini is made with olives or olive juice. There's a whole different variations there with martinis these days. Um, this time it's going to be a lemon twist. So you can use this little guy here and you can grind along it. Glass, a bit of a swirl with the ice, and then we'll throw it out. Now we're going to twist right over the glass because I'm not sure if you noticed in that little bit of footage there, the oils that come out of the lemon rind are very, very important. So we go, we're squeezing those oils down into the glass as we twist it around the straw there. And you can use a toothpick or anything to twist it around if you don't have straws. There we go, there's our twist. And you can see there's a bit of residue of that lime coil on there. Now we're going to go back to our vodka. Just been chilling nicely on the ice here. It's a beautiful crust of icicles around the side there. James Bond said shake it, not stirred. I say stirred. Keeps the vodka intact, not to bruise the vodka. Just going to pop it into our shaker there. Now if you do decide so you use one of these strainers to get out all the ice chunks. But you know, I don't mind a tiny bit of ice crystals floating in the top of my martini. Here's our vodka gimlet martini with lemon twist. Shall I give that a taste that shot? Ah. Refreshing, yet strong, warm and safe. If you don't have one of these guys, you can make a Nice garnish. A lot of people are using them these days actually. So, very good looking and very effective. Got a beautiful long bit of lemon rind. The white bit on the back is a slight bit bitter. A very refined martini drinker might be able to taste that difference. So we're just going to use this glass as an example. So we've just thrown out the ice and the lace, whether it be vermouth or a lime. And we just gently squeeze that into the glass. Release all the oils into the glass. 